With 26 days to go until Paige's and Jason's wedding, and they're going to get hitched right here on the Hallmark Channel on June the 22nd. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, today, though, we're talking about jewelry, and with us is the hottest jewelry uh, designer in the business, and Debbie Metnopoulos brought him to us, so thank you for that. Jason Arash. Ab Arashabin. Close. Arashabin. I go. almost did it. I don't know why, but he's very famous and everybody loves him. So it's Jason of Beverly Hills. So welcome, Jason. Thank it's you. Thanks for having amazing. me. Amazing. And we're very yes. lucky to have you here today. And even better than that, Jason is providing all the jewelry yes. for Paige everybody. and Jason on your wedding day. That's so exciting. Thank it is you very so exciting. much. They were looking for a jeweler named Jason to make this happen. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Okay. You had to be a Jason you or you couldn't get the job. Jason. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what are the trends, Debbie, for jewelry? Well, the trends are, the way that trends actually become trends for, for wedding jewelry is that you see a celebrity wearing them. If you see, say, like Jennifer Lopez or Jennifer Aniston or Kim Kardashian, you see one of them out wearing a beautiful ring, people want to know where they got that ring, and then it goes viral online. So now more than ever, trends are really, really popular and hot, and that's how a trend becomes a trend. And most of the times when you see those things, they've actually come from Jason. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that because you're here. That is very true. Thank you. So let me ask you, what are the wedding trends for women? For women, it, as far as the bridal goes, we're doing a lot of halos. And women are actually tend to go towards a lot of the color stones now. So I'm getting tons of requests for pinks and blues and yellows and things like that. And people are really trying to think a little bit out of the norm but without taking too much of a chance because it is an engagement ring and it has to be timeless. And aren't they more affordable when they're colored stones? Depends on the Depends. color. Our so pinks don't. and blues are way more, but you can get certain shades of yellow that actually be cheaper than a white diamond. Really? Yeah, I understand that pink diamonds are like really expensive. Yeah. Super so, duper expensive. Super duper, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Is that the one we know? Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, what do we have? We have the women. Now, what, do we, what, what about men? Well, men are a little bit different. Now, I've learned that recently men are asking for a little bit more subtle approach to the uh, well, wedding bands. Well, look at your wedding band. Well, not, not, not me. I'm not, I'm not a good example for this at all. That's about as subtle as a brick yeah. in the car window. Yes, exactly. I would like yeah. that wedding band. Well, most requests we're getting is a lot of brush finishes, maybe blacks, and toned down guns metal finishes to kind of make it masculine and look like jewelry without the man feeling a little bit overwhelmed at being too glitzy and glamoury. You know, because the, the classic one was like this. You know, yes, it was like the, the, band. the gold yes, yes, yes. band. Yeah. But now you guys like stuff like that, which is much more manly. Jason, Jason more number two, do you see anything there? Jason, that you number two. Would, yes. Well, as you which, said, I yeah. think I, I was into the, the brushed metal and that uh -huh. sort of stuff. I'm not so much into the diamonds, but, you know, if it's a if it's fashion, you know, you got to stick with the, <laughs> stick with the time. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to anything at this point in time. What Would about you, you Paige? Um, gosh, these are gorgeous, but I already have my engagement ring. Thank you, this Jason, very much for that. Um, so I just need to find something that'll work with this. What do you suggest, well, Jason? Well, you can go a million different ways. The best way is to get something eternity that goes all the way around and something that really matches the style and look of the ring that you have. And I think something that would be thin with a little bit of accent, maybe something a little bit thinner than this that would match and fit like a puzzle the ring you currently have would be the perfect choice. Can we take a look at this real quick? Because this is one of the trends too, where you actually have a ring built around the Absolutely. diamond ring. Absolutely, here, and I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna take this so you can see it, Schwartzy, okay? I'm taking this, there you go. So what we're getting a lot of requests for are wedding bands that don't leave that unusual gap you have between your wedding band and your engagement ring. So we build them like a puzzle so that they fit perfectly and flush, and then that way you don't see that, that gap and it looks like one big ring when right. it's all put together. Right, right. That's, so I'll, I'll take it. Should a oh. woman? No, you take it. But should a woman match her rings uh, with her, you know, with the dress that she's wearing? Man, what's the protocol well, for the that? The biggest misconception when it comes to getting ready for your wedding, everyone thinks you got to match the jewelry to the dress. Not true. It's better to match the jewelry to your hair because yeah. what happens is women that wear their hair up typically should have l bigger earrings, chandelier earrings, but not, maybe not go so big on the necklace. Yeah. Or vice versa, if you're wearing your hair down and you really don't see the earrings as much, you could take a little bit more of a chance and go with a little bit more over-the-top necklace. Which, that is very good to know because a lot of women think that if your hair is down, you should wear big earrings because yeah. it's not going to be overwhelming. It's completely the opposite. opposite. If your hair's down, small, hair up, that's going to be the big star of the show, yeah. you know? Yeah, okay. Well, so... Um... 
I want that one. You want that one? <laughs> I'll wrap it up. <laughs> Look, it's beautiful. They're all beautiful. They are all exquisitely beautiful. 